Hey everybody, I am Bear, and this is Super Amazing Wagon Adventure! Turbo Edition! It's on Steam! It came out a little while ago, and it's also available on the Xbox 360. It's a game made by Sparse Vector, who is a one-man studio, and it's a 2D scroller shooter game that kind of is a parody of Oregon Trail a little bit. Uh, it, it, you know, makes light of some of the things like uh, dying of dysentery and whatnot. Uh, you start off with a party of three people. We'll go ahead and just start off a brand new adventure here. Between 1830 and 1870, nearly half a million Americans migrated west over wagon trails. This is the story of one party of three and their adventure. We get to choose our party members, so I'm going to go ahead and be selfish here and start off with my own name for character number one, who was a fine gentleman who had, uh, I'm going to go with uh, this dude here. He had an awesome beard, and I am envious of it because my beard is not quite as awful. Bleh, as impressive, I don't think, as Mr. 8-Bit. Uh, speaking of 8-Bit, this does indeed have a uh, fantastic 8-Bit soundtrack, or chiptune soundtrack, I should say, which you guys likely know I'm pretty much a sucker for. Uh, we're gonna go with Wife as the second member of the party here. She had, uh, she did indeed have long brown hair, so we'll go with that. And the third party member's name was Charles, and I, <laughs> I almost want to keep that that way. I kind of like having the third party member be Charles. Charles, our butler, was a fine gentleman who, uh, who had, um, who was pale white with... Charles was a clown. Charles the Clown boarded the, uh, boarded the vessel with, uh, with our friends here. He's starting to look kind of freaky, honestly. Alright, Charles is a weirdo. That'll work. Charles is wacky. They traveled in their trusty wagon. So it will uh, pop up with little uh, cutscenes, quote-unquote, like that. The game is randomized every time you play it through. It actually only takes about 10 minutes to play a complete game if you can manage to survive. That's the most difficult aspect of it. But uh, it's, uh, it's absolutely insane. Things just go so quickly. And as you can see here, there are quite a few different wagons you can unlock as well as a few more game modes in the survival area. I'm going to go with the standard completely average wagon for now and set off into the forest for day one of our journey. Look at Charles, man. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They needed to stock up on food for the long journey. This is day 11 already, man. Holy crap. Okay, so when we're shooting animals here, we want to try not to kill the skunks because they will, as you can see right there, uh, damage us. Uh, we're trying to kill the, the littler critters. Wife would not approve of this. She would definitely not be on board with being on this wagon here. Posse of bandits has interrupted the hunt. What we can do here, too, is uh, if we're quick enough, try to take out their horses and use horse meat to survive because that's the kind of lifestyle we live on our super amazing wagon adventure. This is uh, not a great start, though. Char Charles is not looking like he's going to survive for very long on this track here. I am playing so poorly. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, it's trick. It's tricky, man. The uh, the maneuvering is not as uh, intuitive, as, uh, intuitive as you would like it to be. A bullet hit wife in the head. Oh God, wife died before Charles. I am a heartless bastard. What have I done? Well, I got some horse meat out of it at least, so there's a bonus. Wow, I am probably gonna. I am likely to die very early on in this uh, run here. A machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. Oh my God. All right, this is not going well. <laughs> The RNG has not been friendly to this, but there we go, that's what we need, a goddamn missile launcher. Where has that been this whole time? I could have saved my wife's life with this thing. Bear left the wagon to look out for wild berries, so it's just me and Charles in a very, uh, awkward kind of state right now. You can also leave the wagon and be on foot like this as well. I noticed an entrance to a cave and I decided to investigate. Sure, why not? Pure darkness, it was very dark inside, thank you game. Upon lighting a torch, he found it was filled with giant bats! Ooh, wow! Oh my goodness. Holy shit. <laughs> I am gonna die. I am so gonna die. There we go. There's some random health popped up out of nowhere. Thank you, thank you very much, game, for taking pity on a poor soul here. Holy shit. These dudes are tough. They are gonna give me some food, though, if I can go over here and scrounge them up. There we go. Totally worth it. Bear ran from the cave back to the wagon full speed. Reached a river crossing as well. Charles and I. Charles had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternative, alter, alternatively, they could ford it. Well, we always go with Charles' brilliant ideas. They got a running start and leapt from the top of a ledge. Can we do it? That is an amazing leap. Somehow they made it across. They landed near a den of bears, and a large thud woke them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, bears are uh, not to be trifled with, I don't think. Oh, my God. I would, uh, I would love to unironically die to a bear as Mr. Bear here. Oh my god, that's a big one. 
It is a big one. Oh, Charles was devoured by a hungry bear. I, I managed to stave off being mauled, and I have now entered the Great Plains. Holy shit. Come across a large herd of buffalo. As you can tell, it moves quite quickly. But the buffalo look like they're going to be one-shot kills here, so that is convenient for me. I could definitely use some more food from these guys as well. Ooh, and a Tommy gun! Oh, wait, that's a spread shot? No, oh, it's a homing beacon. Oh, my goodness. Or a homing shot, rather. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. I get it. That's a, that's a uh, common internet joke because that is actually, believe it or not, a full-fledged sentence. Don't ask me to explain to you why that works, but apparently if you can just say buffalo eight times in a row, you have constructed a legitimate sentence in the English language, which is just so ridiculous. I wish I could go access those power-ups. I think I can get to this one. Let's see if I can... Oh my god, a bow and arrow. Katniss Everdeen up in this bitch. Yes, sir! Oh my god. Hunger Games more like full games. Some angry buffalo charge the wagon. We only have two shots left! Oh my god! I think we're gonna be fine, though, because we can just shoot these things anyway. Ooh, I got hit by that. I definitely got hit by that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I gotta make it through the plains, come on! Let's do at least make it this far. Bear came across a fur trader. I've got a lot of fur, I might be able to do an upgrade here. Trade Bear a newer, faster shooting pistol for 51 ammo hides. It's about a half of the ones I have, I'll go for it. I gotta find some way to survive, it's just me out here in the wilderness now. Bear noticed an injured falcon to the side of the trail, an animal lover. Bear decided to help, you know me well, game. Let's go find out what's going on here. Coyotes wanted to eat the injured falcon. No thank you, Coyote Brothers. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to say nay, except, well, you made my decision for me. Oh, they're mauling me. The journey ended there amongst the hungry coyote. So there is our first... <laughs> There's our first super amazing wagon adventure. Holy shit, let's go again. Let's go again. This is the story of one party of three. We'll stick with Charles. Charles, uh, Charles is a good party member, man. Bear, wife, and Charles travel in their trusty, standard, completely average wagon. Away we go again. Let's see if I can keep my crew members alive. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead, needing to stock up on food for the long journey. All right, let's see if we can avoid taking silly damage to begin the, to begin the trail here. The adventure, rather. Oh god, so many skunks, god damn it! Oh! Popping up out of nowhere. That is not how skunks behave. A posse of bandits yet again. Oh goodness, well this wrecked me last time. Maybe I can do a little bit better here and now. Oh man, got some horse meat out of this as well. I'm liking it. I am liking the way this is going. So it's very clearly a, uh, just a simple pattern that I'm not adhering to that's causing me to die here. So let's, uh, let's see if I can maybe do it better this time around. There's another dead horse. Oh man, wife Taffy would not, would not endorse me making her a part of this at all. Oh god, I might die though. The head honcho of the wagon could fall early on here. Let's see what happens. Holy shit, oh. I think I've found out the, uh, the proper method behind taking this wagon posse down. Oh, the battle passed through a large nest of skunks. That's inconvenient. That's extremely inconvenient. Oh my god. That's so bad. Holy shit. Oh, that made this way more difficult than it needed to be. Holy good lord. <laughs> oh my god. Can I run them over? I don't know if I can run the skunks over. That would be wonderful. Oh god, thank you very much for the bow and arrow. Bear left the wagon to look for wild berries. Everyone's still alive! That makes me so happy. Hooray. Bear noticed an entrance to a cave and decided to investigate again. I think I'm going to be running into the giant bats another time. Can I just not investigate? I want to go back. I want to not go in the cave. God damn it. It was very dark inside. It still remains dark, sir. Filled with giant bats. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, I do have, uh, I do have arrows, though, I should be trying to use. If I could hit any of them, that would be exceptionally helpful. There goes one. Alright. We're doing okay this time. I, I've, uh... I've just now mastered it. The entirety of the game. Oh, I missed out on the health, though. That's okay. Day 21, we have now reached the river crossing again. Charles had the brilliant idea. Charles, classic Charles. Always with the jumping over the... You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go for the jump again. I love seeing this. That's the only reason why I want to do it. Wee! Augusta Bear pulled them up into low Earth orbit. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. They passed through a meteor shower. Naturally, they would. What super amazing wagon adventure is complete without passing through a meteor shower? 
Can I shoot through them, I wonder? I'd seriously doubt it. Let's see if I can just maneuver stealthily. I have an arrow now. Oh, you can indeed shoot them, but they just break up into smaller meteors, which I suppose may th make things a little bit easier. They came across a strange machine. Oh, good lord, and it's firing missiles at me. Oh, that's no fun. The wagon fell out of orbit, thank god. No benefit from the satellite fight, though. By chance, they landed in the same river they had jumped over days before. <laughs> I unlocked the fast, though. Hooray. That's wonderful. And back on the shore we go. They entered into the Great Plains on day 59. Fantastic. Oh, how good. Bear came down with meningitis. I'm probably dead. Oh, God. That is a close call right there. They came across a large herd of buffalo. Buffalo are uh, becoming quite commonplace here in... Uh, oh, God, I'm dead. Yeah, a bison rammed into Bear's head, causing severe brain damage. Bear later choked to death on his own vomit while unconscious. In case we needed to make it even more disruptive of a mental image. There you go. That's what you needed to see. Oh my god. What do we got here? Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Oh, right, yeah, that's the plane move. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the, uh, fire a stealth bomber at a herd of buffalo weapon. You know, commonplace. Oh, wife, you gotta stay alive, although I'm not really digging you being alone with Charles in this wagon, I'll be honest. Oh, I want this weapon right here. I don't know what, what this one is. Oh, the laser cannon. Yes. Magnificent. My god, this is a lot of buffalo. We are disintegrating the herd of buffalo. We're not yet satisfied with making the uh, animal extinct. We want to destroy any history of their existence. That is how dedicated we are to wiping out this species. Wow. Came across a fur trader. Do I dare? Depending on the price. I'll go for it for 52 animal heights. It's probably a terrible idea, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the opportunity here. A smaller, easier to maneuver wagon. Yeah, I think that's gonna be worthwhile. There was a tornado! Naturally! On day 93. The wagon was picked up by the tornado and sent into low Earth orbit. Again. <laughs> Along with some buffalo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got the we got the most ridiculous weapon here. Things that just straight up make animals explode. Holy shit. Oh, we're not getting any value out of this, though. Wow. Oh my god. Well, there goes all that ammunition. That was real quick. That was real fast. Oh, we we're running low on food here, too. In the distance, they saw a woman in a red dress walking alone. Charles left the wagon to see if she needed help. Inside of the tornado, I wonder. No, apparently not. Oh god. It was a bandit in disguise. It was a bandit ambush. Bandits on horseback swarmed in from all directions. Holy shit, Charles, you got this, buddy. Charles the Marksman. Oh, Charles died from blood loss after a bullet passed through his chest. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, a sad ending for Charles. Charles did not return to the wagon, so wife left without him, as she should. Wife reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Looks like we'll have to jump it. Wife had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, wife could go around... Through a desert path, my voice just cracked. That was beautiful. I'm gonna go around here. Wife made the probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river and entered into the desert itself. Wife came across an experienced traveler named Adam. Hello, Adam. Adam offered to join wife's party as a guide in exchange for 52 animal hides. Unfortunately, she did not have enough, so she decided to kill him. Oh god, venomous snakes. Oh, and in typical snake fashion, they, uh, they do a curvy pattern on screen. Predictable, Spar Spectre. Good lord. JK. JK. One can only expect. The man-eating giant scorpions were even more deadly! Oh, Jesus Christ. Should probably save this ammunition, honestly, but then again, we're just, uh, looking to survive here as long as possible, and we're not getting any meat out of the, uh, out of the animals here if I blow them up, so this may not be the best call either. I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, wife felt a burning sensation wash over her body as the poison paralyzed her and she died shortly after. Oh, Lord. Their journey ended there and their wagon was slowly buried under the hot sands of the desert. Holy shit. Well, guys, that is super amazing wagon adventure. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're prepared for more. This is a game gifted to me, by the way, by Mr. Uh, Tang Tangents LP. Very kind of him to uh, send this over my way, so appreciate that a lot. But I just love it, and I want to play a bunch more with you guys, so hopefully you'll enjoy it as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.